Ladies and gentlemen, live from Kona, Hawaii, it's Tara Homo! Hi, it's Todd I Hobo. Welcome to beautiful Hawaii. Uh, if you ever come over here to the Big Island, Hawaii, come over and check out Todd I Hobo. Not Google it. Today I'm going to show you another pattern that I've already shown you before, but I'm going to do it on long sleeve. It's going to be the flames on the long sleeve. So you get an idea how to do this design. So you get an idea how to do this design on the long sleeve. It's gonna be really simple. You don't need no rubber bands, just need a clothes pin and a hanger. So it's really a privilege to be able to share my art with you guys. Uh, I've been getting a lot of compliments and uh, thanks from a lot of people for showing this technique. And it's a privilege to be able to do this, man, to be able to share my art with the world, man. I feel really honored. Uh, Really, it's really a blessing. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's gonna be really simple how we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna take it over to the dye rack area. So come on, let's check it out. Uh, so after you got your shirt done soaked in the soda ash solution and you uh, spun it out in the spin cycle in the washer, your shirt's ready to die. Okay, so um, without mixing the colors, okay, I, I showed you on another previous video uh, how to mix the colors. Like when I say I make my own colors, I mean like I get the four basic primary colors, like well, three basic primaries and then darker blue. I get turquoise, fuchsia, bright yellow, and midnight blue. Those four colors, I mix and I make my own colors like the greens, the oranges, the purples, the browns, the blacks, pinks, and just various colors. So all those colors can be, uh, and then fire red, all those colors can be utilized out of the four colors. So I show you basically on the other videos. And so and, and as I go along, I'll show you how to blend colors. So I really wasn't really taught or looked on any videos on how to do this stuff, you know? So uh, I had to figure this all out on my own. And, and being an artist, I was born an artist. <laughs> That's what I've always wanted to do is be an artist, you know? And everybody thought I was crazy since I was a kid. So it doesn't matter if you guys think I'm crazy, man. So uh, I'm just happy to be able to share my art that I was gifted with, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get the shirt we're gonna hang it, we're gonna pin it up. Okay, I have a rack right here, and I have a rack where it's gonna hang on top of, and I got a drain bucket here. I wanna zoom in on this in a second here, but let's pin this up here right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a clothes pin on there to hold it on the rack, okay? And I have the, this rack here where the bars are going this way, so that way. So now we're gonna put the arms Okay, you put the arms like that. This is the front of the shirt, okay? You're only gonna do the one side, it should just seep in completely on both sides. So I'm gonna give you a close-up on this, hang on a second. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're gonna use yellow. We're gonna use red. And we're gonna use turquoise. Purple and black. 
Okay, I mix all these colors, obviously. These three colors I get, and then I mix all these other colors to make this color. So, so what we're gonna do, oh, this is really gonna be cool because you get to watch the whole process. I think the other one was timed out, you know, she was, uh, had a, another video person and did a really great job, but this time we're gonna watch the whole process, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off, let's see, okay. I'm gonna start off right here. I got about four inches here on the top here. I'm just gonna flood this out with the yellow, this whole four inch section, okay? I'm just gonna just really flood it with the yellow. Okay. okay, and then what we're going to do is uh, squirt like that, just, and then, and then we're going to squirt down like the, the sleeve here. See how I did that? Just squirt it down. Okay. Okay, now we're going to get the red. Looks like I had some color on the rack, man, sometimes, man. But it's going to do its own thing. I'm going to put some dark colors on there anyway, so it's going to really look cool. So now watch how the red comes down. See that green? It's going to be okay. So now we're gonna, on this. See? And then we're just going to wiggle it downwards and angle it towards the center. See how, like that? And this thing here. One on each side here. Okay. And now we're going to get the turquoise. Oh yeah, you're supposed to wear gloves, man. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I suggest you all wear gloves, you know. Um, why I don't wear them? It's like wearing a raincoat in the shower, you know. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is get turquoise here on each side here, and we go down towards an angle. Okay, and see how I just let that peak there? Okay. Okay, now what we're gonna do right here, right here, we zigzag up and down. Okay, see how I did that? Now watch, I'm gonna fill in just like right here in the middle of the flame area. Okay, so now right here on each side of the arm here too. What's really cool about this is we get to see it being made. We don't have to wait and open it up. You get to watch it. <laughs> so this is one of the coolest, man. Like I said, okay, this is how this design came out. I was on the freeway in the 91 in uh, Los Angeles, Riverside area. And um, okay, we're gonna get purple now. We're gonna do the same thing. And uh, I had fast track. That means, you know, I paid a little extra so I can, our lanes go faster. But our lane was stopped and the regular lane was uh, going through. And I was like getting road rage, man. And I was about ready to jump lane. And uh, also I had this this vision come to me, man. So I don't really look at everybody's designs. I don't like to try to copy anybody else's stuff. I try to figure out my own original stuff that comes to me. And this is how it does. It just kind of, it, it came to me, man. I'm like, Wow, just the way I'm doing it right here. I go, wow, I could do flames, man. I couldn't wait to get home and do them. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm going to get the purple in between here. See how that looks? It looks so cool, man. I mean, it, it, it makes itself, really. See, I'm just going to angle it down. And then it goes back to when you were finger painting in uh, kindergarten, you know. If you put too much, it'll turn into mud. So you just want to... I'm blending in these colors. Okay? Now the black is the final thing. I just get a little bit of black for the blending. Not much. It, it gives us this marbled effect, okay? And it's, it's really cool. So I'm just adding a little bit of black to the texture. Now the last final thing is, I'll show you. I'm going to show you the close-up of this one. Okay. Now there's the thing right here, right? Watch this, when we do the black, I'm gonna squirt it right here, right there, and right here. Just one good squeeze, right? And right here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, now, now watch this action. This is really cool. 
We're going to sit here and watch this thing for a couple of minutes, man, because it's going to turn into its own life force. Okay? Now watch this black start creeping downwards and it'll start looking like smoke. So, yeah, um, how, how this effect came into place, I was uh, living in Texas around 1992 and I was dying three shirts at a time and was just doing them on a rack on top of a five gallon bucket. And so I had them sitting there and I went to go get some meat and it came back. A windstorm had knocked over the rack and went, oh no, man, they're ruined. I, I was working on a low budget, man, so I only had those three shirts to work off of and sell those and then make more and so on. And um, when I opened them up, I seen this melting effect. I went, wow, man, oh wow, I've never seen that before. And so um, as time went on, I figured out I incorporated this effect in the designs. And so this is the flames design. Uh, you can do any colors on here you want. Look at how it turned all these different colors. It just did itself. So now you can see the smoke coming down. See how the, the dark is coming down with it? It's really cool, man. Um, they're one of a kind. Okay, so we're sitting here watching this as it's going down. And um, I'll give you like a delayed uh, time effect. I'm going to give you a pause for a couple minutes and we'll come back and we'll check it all out and then close up okay see how it's kind of blending in and uh, it's it's really cool man okay so let's uh, check out the final results or hang on a second ever the same but this is what it's going to look like okay with the arcs of flame shooting up the, the arms I think the other one I just made is probably going to look cooler but um thanks for checking out my channel and uh, thanks for subscribing and helping like you know encourage me to do more I have like a lot of designs and colors on my website tiedeyehobo.com so I'll, I have multiple variations that I can go off with okay I just wanted to show you how to do this one on the long sleeve, how, how really cool it is, you know. It's getting to be long sleeve weather, you know. See? <laughs> Thanks for checking me out, and I uh, hope you have a great day and a great week, and I hope you learn from this. And this is really hard, you know, because I'm doing this by myself. I'm actually looking at the camera, you know, and I'm trying to, like, do all this stuff, right? So it's, it's been a pleasure to be able to do this, okay? You guys have a great day. Aloha.